Hey guys, how you doing today? This is the next in the goddess series. So we're going to do hair. Now what I did was I'm going to show you how I did this and then I'm going to paint my goddess's hair. So this is my goddess with her molding paste on and it's dry. I did it so it's dry. Um, so I can do, go on to the next step. And I'm going to show you what I did. So you can do your own. Now, let me talk about a few things. I'll bring that back in a minute. A few things. I have a piece of black. I did just have a piece of uh, tablet paper with black gesso on it to show you what I did. However, um, what I wanted to say was, um, if you don't have gesso, I mean, if you don't have molding paste, if you didn't make your own molding paste, um, if you don't have gel medium, if you don't have gesso, you can use white paint um, to get some texture going in your hair if you want texture. If you have gesso, you can use that also. So I'm going to try to show you very quickly how I did this. And of course, you're going to do your own hairdo, but I always have a plastic fork in my office and you can get these. I have plastic ones somewhere. I just can't seem to find them when I needed them yesterday because I wanted to have the hair done so I could go on to uh, paint them. But just a, um, uh, oh, what are they called? You know, these. Does it have a name, please? <laughs> it doesn't have a name. Oh, come on. You know what they come into? Palette knife, palette knife. And they come in, and, and there's many plastic ones, which are awesome. So you can use that. I used this one yesterday and a fork, but I wish I would have found this one yesterday. However, I didn't. And you can see I did not clean it the last time I used my, my molding paste. Okay, so let's start with a little bit of molding paste. What you do is. You have your goddess, and you can see I went around her face, and I made it as long as I wanted it. I took it a little bit over the shoulders. So right here, I'm going to pretend like we're doing our goddess, and I'm going to put a thin coat, and I'm going to pretend like her face is in here. Let me just go down just a little bit. And I'm going to take it down as far as I want it, okay? Now, as you see, you can see here, we have some, you know, kind of dips and divots. Now, normally, if you look at yourself with your hair, whether you have straight hair or, or not, when you look at your face when your hair is down, especially if you have curly hair, you, you know, your hair is, it, it just kind of lays the way it does. So if this was our face here, you would make that choice of whether you minded having that or you didn't. If you do, you just take your whatever tool you're using and you take it around and you scrape it off and you have it off the face and you have it and you make it as long as you want. And you can also do that on the outside. So it's very easy to work with. And if you have color underneath, as you see, I used black. And I used black for a reason because I wanted you to see that it will color, cover if you've already painted your hair on and want to do this or you have a picture that you put on that you drew and colored the hair in or whatever. It's covering the black, okay? Now, if you want straight hair, you can take your um, palette knife or your plastic fork or a regular fork. That, um, I have many different weird things in here. A knitting needle works just as well. A back of a, pen, a paintbrush, whatever you have, it doesn't matter. And if you want straight hair texture, you'll just take this and run it through. Now, you'll see that you'll have little kind of pieces up where a drug um, up some pieces. So you can just take your thing back again and lift up when you go or as I do I wait till it's all the way dry and then just kind of peel them off or leave them in for texture it doesn't really matter you can flatten them out a little bit if you want once you have some molding paste on whatever item you're using without the dog hair on it um, you can just kind of go in and touch 
and they'll come up on whatever you have already has molding paste on it and then you can like I said flatten out so that's how you can cut that's how I got my texture with my um, uh, uh, orange hair goddess okay so let's say we want curly hair so I'm just gonna flatten this out again so see mistakes don't matter because you just go flatten it back out It'd be nice if I would have cleaned my I really gotta clean these all right, so let's just say this is where we're at. Again, a thinner coat, but you still can't see the black. And once you, I mean, now you can because the paper is a, ch a cheaper paper and it's going to um, bow because it's getting wet, but it doesn't matter right now. So now what I did for the curly hair was I took whatever you use, whether it's a fork, uh, end of a paintbrush, whatever, and you go in and you just give it the wave. And you go in and you just follow until you have your waves. And like I said, these big pieces will come off when you touch it. You can go down pat pieces that you want, go over it, whatever. And now, you have, if I can, my hands would work today, you have curly, which is what I have when you look at this. Okay, so... Let me put this back on here to maybe I can I wonder if I could scrape it off. I'm so frugal, I'm gonna like put this back in my thing. Uh, but <laughs> that little bit, it makes such the difference. Okay, so those are two ways. So um get in there, you little piece. I'm not gonna lose you, I promise. So those are two ways to um I would just clean my art stuff, my art tools. What a wonderful world it would be. Okay. So that's with molding paste. The molding paste we made. You can use your fiber paste. You can use whatever you want. Now, let me show you if you have I'm going to be able to show you with that gesso because that's jammed shut. Okay. Uh, let's use, let's see if I can get some white paint out of here. So let's say we have white paint. And this is just your normal craft paint. Okay. You will do the same thing. You will take it and you will smooth it down as long as you want your hair. You want it to be thicker. You don't want it to be thin like we're painting a picture because you're not putting your color on yet. Now you would do the same with gesso or um, molding paste. I'm not molding paste. Uh, my brain is not working today. Um, <laughs> gel medium. Okay, you see how we are? I'm sorry, I am so, ooh. And then you will take it. And if you're gonna do your straight hair, you'll do that. And if you're going to do your curly hair, you give it the wave and you leave it dry. Okay. Then once it's dry, let me throw all my stuff in here as I'm getting everything icky. Once this dries and this is just wet paint, there's nothing, 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 nothing in here. I'm going to let that soak too. There's nothing in here. Okay. Now. Use, like I said, use the back of a paintbrush. Use the back of a paintbrush. Can you see? That'll do the same with your curves if you don't have a plastic fork. I always, when we go get sushi or, or out to eat or whatever, I always ask for plastic utensils because I use them in here for so many different things. Okay, but once this dries, then you see you get texture. So if you don't have gesso or you don't have molding paste or you don't have fiber paste, you didn't make it, or whatever, um, don't worry because you can just use your white paint and it's going to dry. Let me dry it for a second. Maybe I can show you. And after I, I do my video, after I'm done doing the hair on my goddess, I have a few things I want to talk about um, very quickly. So, but I want to show this for those who really don't care what I have to say. <laughs> And are interested in this. 
Molding paste, I would suggest you leave dry overnight or use a hair dryer with on a warm setting, not a hot setting, because you will um, scorch it and bubble it. This is a heat gun, so with the acrylic paint, I'm not too worried about it. And if you like that kind of texture, which it gives a great texture when it does bubble up, um, you know, do so. No big deal. But you do see that we're on black gesso, and that white covered that. Now let me pick a bright color so you guys can see. Let's do a magenta. And I'm just going to put my magenta. I'm not going to be very fancy. If I could close this magenta. Sometimes these system threes really get up my ass wrong. All right. I don't. I got a brand new tube, and I don't want to dry, but it just doesn't close. They're caps. Don't close right. All right. I'm not gonna fight with you all day, magenta. You would just sit there. Okay. Let me grab my brush and dry it out. I have a rag that I sit here off camera. I don't know sometimes if you can see it on camera. It's just an old wash rag that has holes in it that I don't. We don't use anymore. So when I dip in my water to rinse off, I just kind of dab here. In this case, I'm trying to dry my brush the best I can. So I don't, I don't want to really necessarily mute this down too much. You'll probably need two coats, but let's watch. And this is just coat one. You're going to need two coats, maybe three. I don't know. But as you build up your coats, okay, put that back in there. I'm going to rinse that out because I'm probably going to use that. Buy these chip brushes from your local uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or hardware stores. Buy the paint. They are so cheap. Now, the bristles will come out, so when you get them home, I advise you to... Um, kind of wet them in a sink and then kind of go like this a couple times because you will get bristles as you can see. I don't know if you can see that bristle. You know, that happens once in a while, but to put gesso on or to paint big areas, I think they're great. You know, I use anything I can and as cheaply as I can. And I know the dollar store sells these too. And I know, you know, so you're going to see that texture. And like I said, at, now that's still wet, so it's going to be a little glossy on the camera. I'm going to hit it just for a second with the heat gun. I'm not going to spend too much more time on this. I think you get my point. And plus my light's a little. But you can see the texture. So if you put one or two more coats on there, you will have great textured hair. And I'm sure not many of us have black gesso underneath. If you're going to gesso, use white or white paint um, always. And even if you use white paint underneath as a gesso, you can still use your white paint like this as hair. So you'll get great texture that way. Um, it won't be as deep, but it doesn't matter. You'll still see the texture, and that's what's important. So that is that demo that I wanted to show before I do my girl's hair. Move back a bit. So as you can see, I've not done anything else to her. I just added her hair. Her hair. Put some going over the shoulder. Okay. And something I'm going to do, which I'll do after I do the hair. But, um, okay, so what I'm going to use first is burnt sienna. I'm going to stick basically with my hair color. Um, not necessarily, let's move up a little bit. Not necessarily exactly my hair color because we don't know exactly what my hair color is. It's dark. I just don't know exactly how dark. I don't think I need to explain why, but I'm going to, I know I'm a brown. <laughs> So I'm going to take my brush 
and I'm just going to go over my hair. Now this might be too big of a brush for me to use and we shall see in a momento. But for this part, <clears throat> I'm just going to dip in and go over the parts I know. And you want to get in them grooves to get on that canvas. Don't forget. But I think it might be a little bit too big. So I'm just going to kind of hit the parts where it's not going to touch the skin down here. I don't want it to go on here. So have a wet Q-tip or a wet rag by you just to wipe that off. But if you don't catch something and you see it after the fact, we can paint over it and touch up or add something on the painting to um, cover it up. Believe me, I've been there before many times. But if you catch it right away, you're good off. But that's why I said, you know, pay mind to what you're using as your paintbrush because it can really get to you. And have your piece of paper or art journal ready so you can take your, um, I think that's all this one's going to be able to do. Probably wasn't the best idea. But I'm going to need to, uh, you know, ha to have a piece of paper to kind of like sh -sh 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 off. Goodbye, mister. Let me find a different brush. I'm going to go to my other brush, which is this brush. I'm just going to wet it for a minute just to soak the bristles. Damp it off in my, this is my towel. I have many. If you go to uh, Pep Boys or probably even Walmart in the automotive department, or I don't know if Lowe's and Home Depot and them do, they come, there's a call, a bag of rags. I think they even have them in Home Depot and Lowe's in the painting department. It's a bag of rags. And like, you get like 20 of these white rags. <laughs> and I use them. Obviously, they're very loved and used. This just happens to be a good old wash rag that just saw its day and has been being my friend ever since, right in the corner. So I'm going to take the rest of this paint up, which is starting to dry, and run it. Add some more paint. Now the molding paste is going to suck up a lot of your paint which is okay. Take this and go on the outsides. Now, if you start to paint and you see, oh, I should have put more molding paste here or there, you just go back and add more once you get this on. So then you can really look at it and say, ah, should have put more here. This is where I'm going to put it. The paint is no big deal that you've already painted it. It gives you more of an idea. There's no right or wrong. You know, if you get a little bit on her face, I'm actually going to change her eyes, which I'm going to show you what I'm going to do at the end. But um, I'm not worried about, you know, certain, I don't know, certain things. Like I said, if it kind of goes on my canvas board, you know, do I want that? Not really, but at the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. I'm not going to give her as big as hair as I have because my canvas is a smaller canvas and I want to kind of keep, and I only use a little bit of paint, like take out a little bit of paint at a time. But uh, I have big hair when it's dry, but um, most of you only see me in ponytails, and I, I don't think I could have done a ponytail on her. I could have, but it's not what I wanted. So if you see, sometimes I go maybe on the face or whatever, and that's okay because we can go touch all that up. So don't fret too much. This is the hair demo. more. I know I keep going back and putting more paint down, but I don't want to waste. I'm not a waster. I try not to be a waster.
And I push that hard so it gets on that bottom surface. And as it dries, you'll see where you might need to go over it again. And if you want, you could take a smaller brush around the face if you're nervous. Like I said, I'm not too worried. I know it's going to get on the face when I go around the bangs. I don't know if you can see it being soaked in. You can always just go like this, too. It doesn't really matter. Whatever way you can get the paint on. And we're going to be adding a few things. So, like I said, if you make a few little oopses, no big deal. This is our base coat. You just want to get that really in there. Okay, and I'm going to set that there. I'm going to take my Q-tip, kind of wipe it a little bit, some of the wetness off. The dog hair is amazing. I must vacuum in here soon. Is it the weekend, James? Now I can see that my acrylic paint kind of dried, so I'm going to have to push a little bit harder. And that's okay. It's going to take a little bit of that green off underneath, but I can go back and touch that up. I just want to get whatever brown I can off just for when I do go. Now there's going to come a point when your Q-tip is just no longer usable because the paint has kind of sucked up everything in there. I'm just going around. Not too many screw ups. Not too, too worried. I just, this up here, it's gonna get on my nerves, gonna get another Q tip. Okay. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of dry it. Remember, we have those orange specks in there, or I do rather, from the um, my bubble wrap. Now, I'm going to add a very quick. Okay, that's too good. I'm going to add a very quick, just a little more squeeze of my paint. This color is. Um, Burnt Sienna, but any brown will do. And I'm just going to go over this one more time, make sure I got all those little pieces. I might have to get my little brush out to get in there. I'm just going to do some circular motion. Yeah, I'm going to have to get closer to the neck. I don't have to bore you with that one here, as you guys know. And closer to the face. Okay, I'm just going to scrape up the rest of that and put it on. All right, I want to keep that, but I want to take my little brush here and put it in the brown. And I might need more brown. What I'm going to do is just very carefully go next to the face and run it down. You can see I got some on the face. I'm not worried because we'll fix all that. 
those little bits don't matter, but I do want around the face to be where I put the molding paste. I want them to be good and painted. And you might have to use a little brush. I'm sorry, I didn't turn Facebook off. I didn't shut Facebook and I think you can hear my notifications and I apologize. I apologize. So I'm gonna go up in the face here. It's just having patience. It's not not a big deal. No, I know I need I'm gonna have to pour some out. <laughs> just a drop and a little bit and do my move up this way around my shoulders. And I apologize for not doing I was going to do this last night and honestly I have not been feeling good at all. Um and I just couldn't last night. After I did the art snacks. Plus, I, I I got up so early this morning, which is not me. I mean, my husband has to drag me out of bed at 930. And I've been up since, like, I don't know, not even six. And didn't sleep well. So, it's not been... <laughs> it's not been very... Uh, Very good. And then the temperature went from, which I'm sure you all know, I'm in Jersey, so anyone around me, but it was like 40 in the maybe high 40s yesterday. And today it's like it went down to last night or is going to go down tonight to 13. And right now it's the high for today is 18. And I know that you all know if you have chronic illnesses like I, that your body, especially because I've not had my medicine because of all this crap that's going on with the doctor's office right now, um, trying to get my new med approved, they won't give me, they, it, it's, it's crazy. But anyway, I have not had my medicine, my needle in a couple weeks and I can feel it. So that's not helping anything either. But you all know, even, even if you're on all your meds, when that weather changes like that, we're doomed. But today I want to, I want to paint. I want to play a little bit. So I figured I'm going to play. <laughs> I'm going to play. All right. So you see what I'm saying here. We're just going to kind of dot in. If you see the background at the end of the day, it's not very, a very big deal. If you see some of the background, because who cares, <laughs> you know, do the best that you can. And then that's it. Okay, so now something else. What I want to do is I want to add some, you know, to her. What happened to my, that I put out here? I had it here. What happened? Did I knock it down? Maybe I did. What happened to my paint that I had out? That's really sucky. I know I put it out. <laughs> this is the kind of day. All right, let me breathe for a moment. Where are you? I had you out to my pants, my pants, my dear love pants. Yep, it fell. <laughs> of course, why not? Now I'm going to take some metallic copper. And you, of course, can take whatever color you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it down. I'm just going to put it where my other thing was, just a drop. I'm going to take my... Um, brush and just either I don't have paper out so I'm just going to kind of dry it and get that extra paint and water or whatever I have in it off if you have your art journal or a piece of paper that you're doing your throw offs on use that and I'm just going to very I'm, I'm going to use the side so I'm just going to kind of touch it in and then dab it and then I'm just going to vary with a very light touch and I'm holding it up high I'm just going to go over it and I'm going to dip some more and pat and just go over it and just run it down. You don't have to necessarily follow the curls. 
You just want the texture. And it doesn't have to be everywhere. But I want that light for, because we all have highlights in our hair, no matter what color you have. So I want that little bit of sparkle. Now, if you want the hair curlier, because you have curlier, curlier hair, you know, I don't really embrace, I, I want straight hair. I want my daughter's hair. She has like the most beautiful hair. Um, I don't have that. I have curly hair. My daughter has my husband's hair. As well as his sense of humor, as well as my daughter got all my crappy uh, illnesses. <laughs> Well, we hope not, but it seems like she's heading that way. She's had anxiety and panic and depression since she was small. And she's having health problems. So they're doing everything, you know, to try to figure out what the heck's going on with her. So... But she is a wonderful, intelligent girl and writes poetry like nobody's business. Keep, we keep telling her to do a book or like post it or something because it's so good. And if you can't tell, like, um, you know, this is a metallic, obviously, but if you can't tell where you've been with your paint, face it towards the light, you'll see. Again, you don't have to hit every little nook and cranny. That doesn't have to be that way. You do whatever you want. If you want to run it this way, that'll give you the color also. You know, it'll pick up those ridges and give you, give you what you want. So let's do this right here. You can see my brown is still wet there. But basically what you're doing is you're just picking up those ridges. So the underneath is still dark. That's why you don't want to push hard. That underneath is still dark, like on our hair. But the rest has a little sheen to it, a little highlights. Now, if you're doing pink hair or a color, purple hair, whatever, you know, which I dig. I might do another one after and have that. It's, it's okay. You can use whatever color, you know, what. You don't have to do the molding paste. You don't have to do highlights. You don't have to do anything. This is how I'm doing it. If you choose just to paint the hair, paint the hair. Who the hell cares? It's yours. Remember that. I was just, I just wanted to show those who might want to use their molding paste or fiber paste, uh, or who want to get this type of look and don't have those, how to do it. And I think, you know, I think just the knowledge for you to have the knowledge, whether you use it or not, at this point down the road, you might have something that you draw or you, I'm sorry, I'm cleaning my desk, um, that you draw or you do. And you say to yourself, um, what would you say to yourself? No, wait a minute. You would say to yourself, you know, um, maybe I'll use the molding paste. Hey, I remember what Kelly did. You know what I mean? And then you use it. It's just for, you know, educating yourself. So at some point in your life, you know what to do. Now, while that dries, what I'm going to do is take my flesh color that I used. I don't like my eyes. I'm going to make my eyes straight across. I know, I know, but honestly, the more I keep looking at it, I love her, but the eyes I went straight across because I want to be able to do. So what I'm going to do is just take my flesh colored pink and I am going to, and this might take a couple coats, but I'm going to show you my mistakes. And in case you have any mistakes, what you can do to fix them. And I'm just going to use my color and go over those lines. The green eyes I'm keeping, so I can always touch those up if this gets on there a little bit. I'm going to try to keep this as thin as possible. I'm not going to add water, but I want it to blend in. It might come, I might have to paint the whole face one more coat. Who knows? I'm not really going to concern myself too much with that right now. As right now, I'm just taking these 
this line off the bottom. And I'm allowed to change my mind and so are you. That's why it's your painting. It's you. It's what you want. Again, if you're doing what Annie did, and I believe I showed you, I'll show you again. Just let me get this on here. A long time ago, in a land far, far away. No. I'm sorry. I got jokes. I got jokes, people. So if you make a mistake when you go on with your marker or whatever you're drawing on, it goes away. And like I said, I'm going to have to do another cone on there. So I'm just going to lay that right here and leave her sit for a memento. Now I got some, I don't know what the hell that is. That's a little sticky something. You know, I, my cats get in here and I love them, bless them. They like to play. So I'm going to leave that sit there for a second and show you if I can find it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can I find it? That's the question. Can I find it? I had, okay. This is the goddess I did. Did I show this? I might have. I don't remember. This is the goddess I did uh, a couple years ago. Um, I might have shown this if I did. Please excuse me. My mind is totally, completely, I'm not even going to say the bad word. Um, I don't even remember if I peed during the day. That's how bad it's been. However, this is the goddess that I did. And for those of you who um, saw Annie's tooth, um, which I'm sure if you go back to each goddess um, painting, like section that I do with this goddess, you'll see her tutorial in it. This is tip, not, not like hers, but this is the form that she did, except she drew hers out and painted it. Came out beautiful. Um, but if you're not into doing faces and that kind of, oh my goodness, excuse me. I drink a little bit of water and it's like I'm a, I'm a beer drinker all of a sudden. Um, if you don't like this, you know, this kind of face thing, this is my inner goddess. It isn't necessarily Venus or Aphrodite. It's just my inner goddess. But, um, you can also do this and make it your inner goddess. And if you watch Annie's, she adds hair and, and draws hers and does hers. So you can also do a background and add that to it. This just happens to be a page that I had done with, um, a piece of mixed media uh, paper that I coated with clear gesso and then used alcohol inks on, which you can do. You can also use white gesso. It doesn't matter. Uh, the point is that you coat your paper. It doesn't always have to be glossy, um, which I have many videos on that. You don't have to have glossy paper to use alcohol inks or homemade alcohol inks, which I have many videos on. Um, but that's what I did. And then I cut it out. Of course, you know, my favorite black gesso. Um, I'm going to write something over here. It's just been years and I just haven't done that yet. Um, however, I'm, I'm going to put this in my, um, scanner and take a picture, uh, print it out to put behind my altar. Um, and when my altar's all finished, I will take a picture. Um, but I thought that would be pretty cool because this isn't, this, this was done in a time in my life when I was practicing, um, very really, how you say, uh, Practi uh, regularly practicing uh, the Wiccan thing before my son had passed. So um, this is something else that you can do. Um, make sure you go back to the goddess painting. Uh, it might be the last one. I, I know I put it down on several because she has part one and part two. So check hers out because she draws it and then she adds hair and adds her own pizzazz to it. And this is a wonderful way to do it also if you don't want to do it this way. <laughs> she's on a tangent again but that's how she chose to do hers and I think it's awesome I don't think there's one way to necessarily do it this is my inner goddess um, and like I said it doesn't have to be this isn't this doesn't mean you're Wiccan <laughs> okay this just means we, as women, we have an inner goddess. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Don't worry about that extra weight you have on if you have it on. Don't worry about uh, the pimple you got on your face the night before you're doing something. 
Don't worry if you have to go up a size in your jeans or your pants. Don't worry if you're like me and you live in your pajamas and elastic bands are your best friends, okay? I'm just saying. Don't worry if your hair's curly and it's a little bit wild out of the way. And, uh, and you really, you know, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to do one more coat on that in a second and then leave it dry and then see if I need to touch up anywhere on her face, which I might. Who knows? I see right here. Okay, so now that I'm doing this, I'm going to talk about a few other things. In a moment. Because <laughs> you know... And make sure if you're going to go around and touch up around your face where you did her hair, that it's dry. Do not make the mistake, I almost did, of going around the hairline and then I thought twice. Which is odd for me because I don't think twice. I usually am a doer. And then I say, oh man. But you want to make this, like when you're touching up little pieces, just make it very, very thin. Spread it thin, feather it out so you don't have a very big lump. And as you paint, you're going to see, you're going to have little dots everywhere and cats might walk on it. You don't know what happens. Little fairies in your um, art room. Come and have fun. Okay. For now, I'm just going to put my brush in there and shut this and speak with you about other things. Okay. So let me show you this before I lay her down to dry. That's just her so far. As you can see. I've taken her eyes out. I'm making them straight. Couldn't stand the curve. It was bugging the poop out of me. So I'm going to make her more like I drew her in the beginning. Now, here we go. I want to thank yeah, Renee, who is MSRLE63. Her new, her new channel is going to be Clutter in Color. And it's clutter with a K-L-U-T-T-E-R in color with a K, K-O-L-O-R, a mixed media journey. Her old channel was M-S-R-L-E-6-3. I'm going to look up to see if her clutter and color is up and ready. Um, if it is, uh, I would hope that you would go sub to her. She's a very um, awesome person, awesome art. And she sent me... Let's set this over here, which I am so excited. I didn't even open it yet. Medallion Lace Doilies. And when I got it, I about peed my pants because she had mentioned she was going to send me one. And I thought she was going to send me one. I think there's 20 in here. Let's open it. Shall we? Okay. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Kelly's on... Kelly does it and mm, mm, under their new pencil. It's supposed to be used for alternate things. Mm, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna take one. I'm just gonna take one. Oh my gosh. She's I might use this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Paper. It's paper. It's delicious. I'm gonna try this one as a uh Stamp or stencil, rather. I'm gonna lay that right there. And these I'm gonna save because these are gonna go into paintings I'm gonna make. And who else knows what else? So, thank you very much, Renee in Atlanta. And I will put your new channel down below. And thank you so much. These will be used so well, and I love them, and I am so blessed. Thank you so very much. I also want to talk to you about the ATC swap. ATCs, somebody asked me about, and I wrote her name down, Heather Neely. ATCs are artist trading cards. And if you put artist trading cards in Google or whatever search engine you use, you will come up with a gazillion artist trading cards. They are two and a half by three and a half inches. Now, you can use them this way or this way, it doesn't matter. But 
they're artist trading cards. And what you do is you do little pieces of art on them. Um, let me show you. One second. Yeah. I hope you didn't see my big bum. There's variations of making them. Your best bet is to go look up artist trading cards. This is one I got from Christy Yala. I did never know how to say her, last, uh, her name on here. Christy Rala, but it's Christy Trout. <laughs> Another one. Whoops. And you can see the variations of what she did. These are stickers. And look how cool. With a background piece of scrapbook paper. And she made a very cool eye with eyelashes. And very cool. I mean, this is from Jackie Nichols. All drawn, I believe. Or maybe that's... Is that drawn or molded? Glued in. I don't know. But I'm sure the eye is drawn because she's a good artist. So this is another one. And this one is from... Her name's Ornery's wife on um, Instagram, but her name's Tracy. So as you can see, there I can't show you mine, but um, as you can see, there are many ways to make them. So look up artist trading cards, and you will get so many ideas. So many ideas. And if you don't have paint, use markers. If you don't have markers... Use crayons. I don't care. Um, I just want you to create. So, um, like I said, there. if you look it up, you will be so astounded at how many um, ways you can make them by cutting out. Some people cut out, like, my gosh, the water. Old vintage photos. Uh, you, I mean, like it, you can draw. You can do whatever you want. So, artist trading cards. Any more questions, Heather? I friended you on Google Plus. You can write me um, by going, clicking my name or under this video, and it'll take you to my main page. You can email me at knittingandthings at netzero.com. You can email me on YouTube um, under you click your video manager, you click, then you click your community, and then it'll say inbox, and then you can send me a message. You can friend me on Facebook under Kelly Donovan, um, or you can just leave a question under this video if you have any more questions. But people cut these out of um, poster board, out of um, watercolor paper, out of mixed media paper, out of a piece of scrapbook paper. You know, just look them up, research them. You'll get much better idea, and um, they're fun to do. So if you want to sign up. Make sure you find the ATC sign up um, video, which is about probably maybe three, four videos back and sign up there. Last thing I want to talk about art doodle love. My daughter got this for me for Christmas and life has been so chaotic. I have not even had a chance to um, really look at it until this morning. And um, I don't know, have any, do any of you have this? If so, let me know. Um, it's called Art Doodle Love, a Journal of Self-Discovery. And when I opened it, I peed my pants. Because what it is, I cannot stand that wreck it book, whatever the hell it's called. Wreck it something. I asked my daughter. She has it somewhere. She hated it too. I said, go find it for me. She hasn't found it for me. Um, God only knows where it's at. Um, could be in her. She is about, my daughter, when she goes to the bookstore, comes home with about, Mm, maybe 12 new books at a time at the bookstore. And now we found a discount bookstore where like they sell damaged, they're not damaged, but you know, like it might have like a tear in the thing or whatever. And you get for like three, four bucks and they're brand new books. I mean like books that I had on my Amazon wish list, I bought for, I mean, when, um, the one day we went, they were having half off everything. So like $3 books I got for a dollar fifty. I think my daughter might have walked out with like 50 books. No freaking lie. And my between my daughter, me, and my husband, he bought all kinds of comic stuff. And he's a writer, so he bought all kinds of writing books. And I bought all kinds of art books. And my daughter bought books galore. And um, I think it came to 160 And then with the discount, it came to 80 And when I tell you that the book, the amount of books we got, I mean, maybe 50 books, 60 books. I don't even know. 
my husband, I, I he would know more. I mean, we want, when that price came up, we all just like kind of stood there like, did she make a mistake? Did she make a mistake? Let's just pay and go. Let's pay and go. Because we had gotten so many freaking books. Um, she had to give us a box so to carry everything out. So this is something my daughter got me. So anyway, besides the point. Anyway, it goes through like all these different things. Da, 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 da. And then I like this because it says intention page. What do you have? Once you what that blah, blah, blah. What do you hope to achieve within these pages? Go into as much detail as possible. And you see the page is like a mixed media page. Then you turn the page, finding the mojo. Before we kick off this wonderful whirlwind journey of doodlem, we must first track down your mojo. Let's get those doodle juices flowing from your hand with some warm-up exercises. Scribble anything on this page. Somebody's calling me. Okay. Um, what do you see within these ink splotches and drips? Doodle from them and around them. So then you go in with your pen or pencil and draw your own kind of things from these drips that are already here. And then, it, I'm not going to bore you, but flower power. Doodle from the spots of color to turn them into flowers. Fill the whole page with your doodles. And as you can see, there's little petals, there's middles, there's this, there's that. And it continues on. Fill the colored areas with a doodle of anything each day for a week. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inspiration is all around you. What simple shapes do you see right now? Do to them, take notes of the shapes, particularly draw, outline around these shapes and keep filling in the areas. Garden party. I mean, so this is the um, record journal for us crafties. Fear or not, we all have fears. Some are stronger than others, and some are more rational than others. Listen due to your former fears and how you conquered them. I mean, it's just wonderful. My love life now, soul search, discover what fills the soul. What feeds the soul is vital to happiness, so it's time to wonder what parts of your life feed your soul. And you can just see it's absolutely gorgeous, inch by inch. The inches that... Uh, People do every day for a month, fill in a box with a do or thought about one or thought about one thing for each thing you are grateful. So as you can see, it's a very awesome book. She got it from Amazon. And I don't know how many of you guys have this. If any of you have this, let me know. Um, maybe we can do it together. Um, if not, I'm just going to do it. Um, so I'm very excited. It's called... Art Doodle Love, a journal of self-discovery by Dawn DeVries Sukel. So I'm very happy with that, very excited, and um, I'm going to start doing that. So that's all I got. So any questions about the goddess, let me know. I wanted to show you guys how to do, like, how to do it, but have mine dry so we could do it all in one video. Any questions, as always, leave below. Any other questions about the ATC swap? Um, also, my friend um, Veronica, who is a Pattinson fan on YouTube, did a series on how she makes her uh, shaped boots with saran wrap and everything, shaping her boot. And um, I'm going to link you to the first video. And then you continue to watch her videos you know, the next video, the next video, the next video, and you'll watch her step process throughout um, and see where she ends up. And um, she does awesome things like that. And last but not least, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Last but not least, um, my friend, and most uh, some of you might know her, uh, Tilted Asylum. Her daughter's cat is very ill and at the vet. And um, it's going to be $1,700, some 17 and some odd dollars to even get this cat, um, to live, to, to be healthy. Um, and so I'm going to put, she has all her items in her store, which are absolutely gorgeous. All her items in her store are 25% off. I'm going to put that link below. And also if you want to, um, just donate even $5, I'm going to put that link below also. Um, so you can contact her on Facebook. I want to put her Facebook link. So if you want to donate, um, you can donate. You can email her on Facebook and, you know, she'll give you her PayPal address. Um, she's also going to show for those who do donate. 
um, which a lot have to, to show uh, everybody the bill. So when the when the bill it gets paid and everything, everybody knows that their money went towards that. Um, so, you know, like I said, five dollars makes a difference. Or if you buy a piece of her art, um, that's so helpful. She's already sold. Uh, she sold a big piece for two hundred bucks, and uh, her art's great. So I'm gonna put those links below too in the description box. Please just click on them and just look around and see if there's anything that catches your eye. She sells digis. She sells her clay art. And, um, again, if you just can donate $5 and don't want to buy anything that works too, um, you know, we try as an art community to stick together and help each other as best we can. So I just wanted to say that. So there's going to be quite a few links in the description. So please check it out. I really, really appreciate it. And if you can't donate or buy, it's okay. I've had people message me, um, saying that they wish that they could. And I completely understand. And I know she does too. Um, otherwise she wouldn't be in the situation that she is. Um, a lot of us, you know, are on a very, very tight budget and, and, uh, can barely live on our own. Um, as unfortunate as that is, that's the same as what her daughter is going through. And that really stinks. So, um, I understand there's no, I'm not going to hate anybody or not. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, you put it out there and then hope that, you know, a couple people can help and it helps them. So I really appreciate it. All right, guys. Um, I hope you all have a great day. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, and I can't wait to see the next part of your goddess. And I think All Things Creative, my group has got like almost 50 new people in it. So it's called All Things Creative. You look for it in the search on Facebook. Find us. Come join us. I got 50 new members from my YouTube, Thrilled to Death. And um, it's a place to post your art, your art questions. Um, if you do a video, you can put it in there. Um, meet like-minded people like me. Um, the group, um, I was going to say, was small. It's almost doubled now. Um, because the people in it, you know, are uh, very friendly, very helpful um, it's a drama free zone. There is no drama, any drama. Your ass will be out in a minute. And, um, cause I don't put up with that. And, um, it's a real fun place to be. So especially if you have questions or want to put your art out there and say, Hey, I, you know, I'm doing this. W what can you help me with or, or whatever. So it's called all things creative. So for that guys, I'm out and, um, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you all have a great day. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.